For a 40-year-old imam, Mamadou Kamara has it all. A wife, four kids, work as an NYPD traffic cop, and the thriving mosque he leads in the South Bronx. I was here from the beginning. It was no light. We used to put in the candle, you know, on the side, you know, to pray, to, to worship. We came together, slowly, slowly. We was in the path of our Almighty. But success brings an unexpected challenge for the Ivory Coast native. So many people want to pray at the Mejid Abu Nabas that they spill onto the sidewalk every Friday afternoon. When it's cold, winter, it's very rough. It's in no way people are passing by, you know, most of the time we're not comfortable, but we have no choice, we have to do it. People keep moving. We see no head in this mask every time. Immigrants fleeing poverty in countries like Gambia, Mali, and the Ivory Coast hunger for a familiar place in a new land. Now, our goal is to buy. We tied renting. By raising $200,000, he hopes they can secure a newer, larger space. You can give, pay $2 a A fundraiser that day helps push them beyond a third of the way there. The only mosque within a half mile attracts members of the community for more than prayers. It just teaches me so much about my, you know, culture and how my grandparents were raised. And it teaches you how to, like, respect your elders. My father was working 50 cents an hour. And so you just have to, like, do better and, you know, make them proud. The Muslim population in the Bronx tripled between 2000 and 2010. Census records show that the West African population in the South Bronx also experienced dramatic growth in recent years. For example, in my building, which is across the street, before, we were the only Africans in that floor, and now there's three out of the four apartments are, are African. Hey. It's like of the kids born here. When we go there, we don't have to think about anything no more. For Kamara and his flock, faith from the old country makes American dreams come true. In New York City, I'm Zach Williams.